Look at this as a symbol of what the people of Perth are willing to come out and do in support of climate action now. It is so inspiring and it's an inspiring visual for the rest of the country to see people standing in the rain, taking out time on a weekend to demand of our governments, all levels of governments, that we take the threat to the environment with utmost seriousness. Not climate action later, not climate action in a bit, climate action now. We have no time to lose. The United Nations convened the, International Panel, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change in 1988, talking about the need to do something for the future of our children. The children born in 1988 are 26 and we are still waiting. This is only the beginning. This march, these umbrellas, these words today are part of a global movement to demand of all governments that the future happens immediately, that the hard decisions are made now. And it's a difficult conversation to have. Because if you talk about the reality of climate change, if you talk about what years of inaction have done, if you talk about governments that pretend it's someone else's problem and keep kicking the can down the road, you hear words like doom. You hear words like catastrophe. You speak to people and they don't want to know because the news seems so bad. Well, when people say doom, I say opportunity. When people say catastrophe, I say action. I say change. Because what this challenge does is it defines us as a community and a people who are willing to stand up for something better. Climate change isn't just about emissions. It's about society. It's about community. It's about living in clean cities. It's about a dialogue between cities and the people on the land and black Australia. It's about land rights. It's about tearing down international borders. It's about fighting poverty and it's about assigning resources equally. So no more doom, no more catastrophe. Action, change, opportunity now.